Hey, uh, hey everyone, Bill Kennedy here with IQ Power Tool Service and Repair Department. Um, we wanted to put this little session together because uh, we've had some questions or customers call us and say, hey, I'm having this problem with my saw. I'm having this problem with my saw. So I figured that we would go through the electrical system and so that people are more familiar with how the power uh, distribution and soft start functions with uh, the 362, the 244, and the 360, okay? So some of the questions that we receive is my, my saw motor is running, but my vacuum motor is not running, or vice versa. My vacuum motor is running, and my saw motor is not running, okay? So, and the reason, so let's become familiar with the power distribution system that is the printed circuit board. So power comes in, from the outlet or generator or whatever your power source is, and it hits the stop, start stop switch, the on and off switch, the big orange panel that's on top of the uh, saw itself. From the on and off switch, it is then fed to one side of the PCB, which feeds the vacuum motor, and it feeds the other side, which feeds the saw motor, okay? So that's the distribution portion of the uh, PCB board. Why is that important? So let's just say your vacuum motor is not running and your saw motor is running and you have a 244 or a 362. The simplest thing to do is to unplug the vacuum motor and plug it directly into an extension cord to a wall outlet and see if the vacuum motor runs. If the vacuum motor runs, then that tells you that A, you have an output problem on the PCB board or a loose wire on the on and off switch, okay? So how do we check to see if we have an output problem on the PCB board? Again, the PCB board is split into two sections. Vacuum side, let's switch to uh, the PCB camera. Okay. All right, let me turn the light off real quick so that you guys get a better view. Okay. So you have the saw side, black, white, white, black, and then the vacuum side, which is yellow, red, black, white. Okay. And the, the colors are going to be pretty consistent, uh, whether it be the 244, the 362, or the 360. So if your vacuum motor runs after plugging it into the wall, and you want to make sure that the PCB board is in fact the root cause of the problem, you can take the output wires that feed power to the vacuum, which is the black and white leads on the vacuum side, unplug these two leads, and unplug the vacuum output wires that are on the, on the top side closest to the handle, the black white, and swap them. So plug the vacuum output into the saw motor output and then turn the saw on and see if the vacuum comes on. If that does happen, then that tells you that the PCB board is not putting out the voltage to properly power the vacuum. And you can do the same thing if the saw motor was not running. And again, if the saw motor is not running and the vacuum motor is running, the first thing you should do is check your brushes. Go ahead, camera to me. Check your brushes, and if you haven't replaced the brushes on your saw, saw motor, they get too short, they won't make contact with the commutator, the, the motor won't roll, it won't start. Electricity will not flow across the commutator from the brushes to feed the motor to basically uh, get the electricity to, to rotate the, uh, the saw motor. So check the brushes first. If the brushes are good, you just replace those, and they're making good contact with the commutator, then check your output side. So I would swap the output leads for, for the saw motor and place them into the vacuum lead output on the PCB and then turn the saw on. And if the saw comes on, then that tells you that your PCB output for the saw motor is not, is not put out. Okay. Now the PCBs themselves, they are configured very similar. This is a 244 PCB, and I'm going to put it right next to the PCB uh, on the 362 PCB camera. And you will see 
that they're pretty much very similar. This is the saw side up on the top row, and then you have the vacuum side. And then the wiring diagram is going to be the same. Sarah, do we have that file? Yeah. So we're gonna share the file with you right now. So look, if you can, you see the wiring diagram is pretty straightforward. So from the switch to the PCB inputs, L2, L5, I believe. And then it's, and then you see M1 and M2 and uh, for the uh, output going to the uh, vacuum and saw motor fields. And again, the 362, 360 share the same PCB. And then the 244, even though it's not the same, it's very similar in its layout. All right. So now the second portion of the PCB board, which is soft starting. Let's go ahead and come to me. Go ahead and turn my meter on. Okay, I'm gonna turn the switch on. I'm gonna turn this power switch on. This meter will go to 60 volts and that's all it's gonna go. This orange light will come on. You can't see the meter, but it'll, it'll reach 120, okay? So when you're checking, when you're checking your own personal saws, just be, for, be aware that the saw motor output, the saw motor output will not reach full 120 unless you've got the motor attached to the leads. It, it waits for a current draw in order for it to kick up. Since the, the biggest draw of current is your saw motor, it waits for that. It, it kicks the, the vacuum motor on full speed first before putting the saw motor on full speed. So here we go. Okay, so now you see the orange light come on. This is at 120. Okay, and if you see the, uh, the saw motor, it's sitting at half, half scale, 62 volts AC. All right, so when you, basically it's reading from these two leads, saw motor output. So if you're checking your PCB and you're seeing a half scale on the, on the output side of the saw motor, well, you're gonna have that, that's normal. It doesn't kick up to full 120 until it, it reads that the motor is rolling and it's got current and it's got basically a necessity and then it'll kick it up to full 120. And that's the second portion of the PCB board. So first portion is power distribution, splitting it from the vacuum side and the saw motor side. And then the second job is to basically uh, step up the starting of the saw motor and the vacuum motor as well, so that you don't you're not popping the breaker that's on the wall or in the house or the generator, wherever your power source is coming from. Okay, so again, simple troubleshooting. If if one side is not uh, coming the power, first of all check the power source at the wall or at the generator to make sure that that is in fact on. And there's no, because that, I mean, houses have breakers. They have a breaker panel just as, just like anything else. Generators have breakers. So th those breakers could be popped. Make sure that they're reset and you do have output power from your source. And then you have input to the switch. Once that's been verified, then you can again verify if the saw, saw motor is running, then that means your output from the PCB is good. And if the vacuum motor is running, the, the, the power output from the PCB is good. And that's, that's basically it. And, and you can do all this, knowing, having this knowledge on the job, you can pop the cover off and swap leads and basically do some quick troubleshooting to get your machine up and running again. Okay? Any questions? All right, that's all for me. We'll see you again next time.